YouTube, my name is Rana B. Welcome back to Minecraft. Good God, this recording this new Minecraft series has literally been a pain in my ass. I have tried recording different episodes two separate times, and both occasions I either lost my gameplay footage or I lost my face cam. It's been a mess, and I'm so sorry for the long delay in my Minecraft videos. Shit happens, <laughs> apparently. So, I'm back, a lot has happened. So, I am gonna put in a couple little clips from any footage I could save of me playing in the past, which includes building my house, which you can currently see me standing in right here. Hello, long time no see. So yeah, my house took a long time to build. I had to take so many trips to the nether to get quartz to build my house. Get It did give me a lot of XP, but the problem was there was a couple cases where I died and I lost all that XP and I'm kind of sitting my back now, I'm at 34, but I kind of miss having close to 50, if not at least 40 uh, levels for me to use. But hey, what can you do? So yeah, building my house took a long time, but honestly, I think it's super, super cute. It's literally one of the better houses I've ever built. Um, I'm actually really proud of this. So it's really spacious. I changed my book area a little bit. I have a fancy enchanting area. I've got some of my, uh, excuse me, my uh, enchanted stuff, or enchanting stuff, stuff I want to enchant at some point. Um, oh yeah, and I also have a little kitty. I think I'll name you today, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, there was actually a village not really that far from my house, so I was able to steal one of their cats. And I'll explain more about the village in a second, but let's go ahead and name our cat. Oh yeah, and my chest room's down here, and then I have a little pit of lava just to throw junk into if I don't need it, because I tend to be a hoarder in this game. Okay, so yeah, the carpet indicate what exit is what. So white leads to out front, since it matches the quartz. Gray is back here because um, I'm building a little trail system, like a railway system, which I need to redo pretty much all of it. Um, but that's what the gray is. Um, light blue over this way. This is my bedroom. Two beds and even a little flower with some pretty decent views. And then dark blue is basically my workstation area. All of my things are in here. So I've got um, a crafting table, two furnaces, my brewing stand. I even have a stone cutter, which came in quite a bit for making the roofs of my other buildings. I have a de-chanter, which has gotten me quite a bit XP, an anvil, and then I have a full chest over here full of enchanting books. I've got so many enchanted books and some really good ones. I have a Fortune 3, uh, Protection 2, Infinity stuff for Trident if I ever get it, Knockback. I've got so much stuff, including these two right here. I got so lucky with this fishing rod, luck of the C3 and mending, and then I got another fishing rod with lore three. So I want to put those in the anvil to get some sweet upgrades, um, because as of right now, my enchanting table does not have that much going for it. So I've been mostly relying on the anvil. So actually, let's go ahead and do the fishing rods first. So luck of the sea, three, and mending in one, lure in the other. 13, it's quite a bit, but you know what? This will be a badass fishing rod, so I'll take it. And da 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 da! Lure three, luck of the sea, three, and mending. Probably one of the better bows you can ever, the bow, one of the better rods you can get in this game, I think. That's the best one I've ever had. And then for our little name tag, I decided to name my cat Mimi. I just like the name, I think it's cute. So Mimi, all right, all right Mimi, let's finally give you your name tag. It's been quite some time. Yay, Mimi! Woo! My little kitty, she's so cute! Oh, 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 she's a little, she's a little cray cray. Oh, you, okay, if you, if you want to chill on the cat, if you want to chill there, you're fine. But you're going to be stuck in here. 
I'll leave a door open. Okay. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and explore my house. Um, so first off, I need to show you guys the exterior of the house. Voila! This is my house! Like I said, I'm very proud of this house. Um, the roofs are a little bit to be desired, but hey, I'm not the greatest builder in Minecraft, but I'm very proud of this. Also, I kind of like the fact that the lanterns I put up here kind of look like eyes and or earrings. But anyway, if we circle around, I have some lanterns up on the side here, more windows, uh, the back area back this way. Um, so let's just take a genuine tour. Over here, this is my nether portal. I've actually been doing a cool thing in the nether. I'll show you guys here in a second, but it's right there on this little island. Over here, this is where my stable is going to be, and I actually have a horse. I actually got myself a valiant steed. All right, so let's go and check on him. I need to put a fence up. Hello, my friend. Your face is in the wall. Yep, this is my new horse. I really don't know what to name to name it as of yet. Uh, we'll figure that out at some point. But it's- Ah! Mimi! Why are you here? I thought I told you to stay put. Oh boy. Alright, well, um, I guess Mimi is gonna be following us, but anyway. Okay, let's go ahead back into the boat. Mimi will follow at some point. Or will you? Oh no, Mimi! Get in the boat! Mimi! Mimi, you get in this boat right now! Get in this boat! Get in the boat, Mimi! Yes, you're in the boat. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess Mimi's going for the ride. So anyway, let's go over here. This little purple building over here, this was actually another video idea I had, but of course, it got lost. Um, this is where I'm keeping extra villagers. I actually stole some villagers from the nearby village on top of another one that's actually not too terribly far from here either. What's up, Mr. Golem? Now, Mimi, Mimi, you stay in the boat. You do not move. Hello, Mr. Golem. Uh, I didn't realize that golems could spawn if there's enough villagers around. I, okay, for a second I thought my mouse froze. But yeah, up here, well, they're all sleeping, but we have two librarians so I can get enchanted books. And then down here, I have a couple of extras. There is a smith, cleric, and then there's an area over here as well. This is kind of the, uh, the uh, private area where our villagers can make babies. And that's actually how I got one of these villagers in the first place. They were a product of breeding, which is a, a thing I did try, I think, in the last series I did. And it did work, but it's a lot more sophisticated now. Hello. Um, but yeah, and then over here I have a little chest filled with things, different things to give jobs to. I got some food. I got a lot of stuff down here. So honestly, it's not too bad of a place. Not too terribly bad. If the need ever arose, I will um, expand it. But for right now, I'm fine with it as is. And then it is nighttime, so I'll make the last part of this relatively quickly. So over here, this is my little animal farm. Um, again, on a little island, I wanted everything to be on a little island. Um, I don't know if I actually clarified that in the first episode I did. But yeah, this is my animal farm. It has expanded quite a bit. I added a little bit more land, mostly grass, dirt area, cows, chickens, sheep, and I have a pig somewhere. Piggy! Oh, there you are. I see your pink butt. Oh. Okay, yeah, I do need to get some more pigs. I don't know why. It's just a matter of pigs. <laughs> okay, all right, Mimi, last stop on our tour. Over here is just my normal farm. It's actually been going pretty well. Um, it's a little bit more spacious than my previous um, farm in my last survival series, but I really like it. I finally found a solution about the water. So now there's slabs over the water so I can walk and collect all of the food, which actually all looks pretty grown, so I'll go ahead and steal some of it. But yeah, it's become such a better way to farm. It's just so efficient and I really, really appreciate it, so. 
But yeah, that's basically everything. Um, I don't know if I'll add any more islands per se. I have thought about making little areas for pets. Um, we'll see about that. That's kind of not my main goal at this point. Um, but yeah, it's actually really, really nice. I will say one thing that's bad about my house that I would love to fix is that right there. Mo mobs keep spawning on my house and I really do not appreciate it. Yeet, like that. Nope, 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 nope. I'll take, I'll take the back door. Thank you. All right. So, oh, I'm stuck. <sighs> okay. Sorry, Mimi, I'll let you out here in a second. So quickly, I'll show you guys. This is how I get, oh, let's not get rid of my rod. Let's not mess with that. So let's go ahead and toss all of these extra beetroot seeds into the lava. I need a lead to get Mimi out of the boat. And then we'll go to sleep. Okay, come on, Mimi. Let's go, Mimi. Good girl. Good girl. Now you stay there. You were not supposed to leave in the first place. Okay, let us go to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Whew, all right. So yeah, that's basically how the whole layout is. Um, I'm not really entirely sure what I want to do if there's a major plan in this video. Um, let me actually really quickly show you, I need to go this way. Let me show you um, my nether portal or how I've been organizing the nether because I really have wanted to explore more of my map. So I decided to um, make uh, specific paths to get to certain regions in the map. So let's go ahead and go through. And welcome. So I basically made a little like fort area. Um, as of right now, I only have one long tunnel that goes south and one that goes north. And each one has their own um, nether portals. I do want to make them a lot longer because I want to go further in the overworld from the nether. Um, I do need to make ones for east and west. I'll do that later. And then this little up door here is where I would pre kind of how I previously explored the nether, which was a bit of a mess to begin with. So honestly, this is a lot more convenient, which I really, really appreciate. So um, I don't think I'll go to any of them quite, actually, you know what? I have an idea. Let's make it today's goal to get some blaze powder because I have a brewing stand. Oh God, my world. God, that was a little scary, okay. So let's go and go to another fortress. I've actually been inside it already, so it's not gonna be entirely new for me, but I would love to get some blaze rod because I would love to brew some potions because I have never really done it at all, at least not me recording my videos, but we'll go ahead and mess with that. Um, also, yeah, I need to get, let you guys know Usually how I found diamonds in my last survival series is that I had uh, mod packs that had a mini map, which was really helpful for me to find diamonds since I just looked on there to look for um, diamonds. But check this out. How I have this organized, I have seven blocks of diamond on top of an additional 25. I have 10 blocks of emerald with 11 extra. 25 blocks of gold with 40 extra and then 17 iron blocks with eight extra. I've been doing a lot of mining and I have so much diamonds. It's like ridiculous how many diamonds I have. I feel so blessed in this game to have so many diamonds. And like I said before, not even that much help with like a mini map or anything, which is great. So I think what we're gonna do, we need to get a little bit more prepared. So what I think I'm gonna do we will go to the nether really, really quickly. I need to get some snowballs because I am nowhere near a place with snow, but I have a portal in the nether that will very easily take me to an ice land. I actually just explored it not that terribly long ago and I actually found some pretty decent stuff. A lot of it was just stuff that I 
it's always great to have extra iron, extra emeralds, and stuff like that. Um, I was hoping for a little bit better stuff, but hey, what can you do? So I believe my Iceland area is down this way. This is gonna take some time. So one thing guys, there's this little hole I made. This tower or this area is literally near a big pool of lava. And I actually think it's my tunnel that goes north. It is literally above a giant pool of lava. So actually down this way, I gotta be careful because I hear gas. But there's another fortress right over there, so we'll check that out here in a second. But, um, let's go, I believe, I hope it's this way. If not, then I just wasted a trip for nothing. But let's go to the Iceland area, and let's get some snowballs. And if we run into a uh, blaze spotter, I can kill them pretty easily with snowballs. And if not, I also have a diamond sword. So yeah, as you can see, there's one portal here. This goes to negative 261973. And then this one over here. Yeah, look at that. Giant pool of lava. Oh no! Damn it, I went down the wrong one. Okay, we have to go north. I'm an idiot. Be back. All right, I finally made it. What's up, Pikmin? Up. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot I left a random block of wood here. Anyway, but anyway, um, if you could move your big butt, my good friend. Um, this is the Iceland area. This is negative 10, negative 2873. Well, it looks like the Pikmin's gonna join me. Let's go! I must say, this is a bit of a departure for you now, isn't it? I kind of just want you to be pushed down and just walk. Oh. Is he going to suffocate? I actually want to see if he's going to suffocate. <laughs> that sounds so morbid, I apologize. Doesn't look like anything's happening. <laughs> I don't know why I find this oddly satisfying. Well, I think he's fine. Anyway, we're on a mission. Okay. We need to get some snow. Why is there a creeper over there? Why are you there? And an enderman. Off to get some snowballs. All right, here's some right here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Sweet. That is six. We're gonna need way bit more than that. Hello, Enderman. Actually, let's go ahead and kill the Enderman. I do want to get some more Ender Pearls. Oh! Uh, here, stare at it. Come here! Come here! Come here, you! Yeah, that's right! Where are you at? Come here, you! Oh, there's two of them! Get over here. You can run really fast. Come here. Ow. Ah! Damn it, there's some severe lag. Yes. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Woohoohoo! I'm actually getting pretty lucky with the um, ender pearls. Almost every single enderman that, that I have killed has dropped an ender pearl, so I am very grateful for that. Ba, 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 ba. Do, do. More snowballs! Oh. Well, we've got pretty close to five stacks of snowballs. So let's go ahead and head back. Let's head over to the nether fortress and let's see how lucky we get with some blazes. Well, guys, I ran into a bit of a conundrum. I'm gonna use my power four unbreaking three and infinity bow. Pretty badass, but I've got lucky with quite a few enchantments. But there's a ghast right there. And oh, damn, you're a little too far. Oh, nope, you're gonna ruin everything, bud. Get. 
Okay, yes, you can come into the tunnel. Hide from the ghast. Where are you? Where are you, you piece of crap? Alright. Seems you're gone for now. Hmm. Well, I haven't even looked in my tunnel all the way at the bottom. Look at that. Holy crap. It goes way further. Oh boy. Alright. And now I got to remember how to even get up here to begin with. How did I get in here? Aha! I see some steps that I made out earlier. Plus a torch. Alright. Now, I literally do not remember where this area was. So, and not to mention, I can barely see this with my ring light blaring in front of my face. So, doo -doo -doo. and I have a good feeling I might get lost in here. Let's see. I know this is an old chest. Yeah, because there's a lot of my old stuff in there. Uh, let's check up front here. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's where my old nether portal was. Okay. Yeah, there's one up here too, just in case I ever got lost. <laughs> mm. Nope. All stuff I've already pillaged through. I don't really need flint and steel, but honestly, I don't think I need sand either at the moment, so that's fine. Um. Oh, now I'm back. Great. I know that there are blazes somewhere. I just don't remember where. It actually has been some time since I have been in this nether fortress, so a lot of uh, retracing some steps. At least I don't think there will be any wither skeletons since I... Oops. Since I uh, lit up this place pretty decently well. Okay, let's see. Let's go. <gasps> Whoa! Oh god, that scared me. Okay. Okay, there we are. <laughs> and plus, oh, I need to make more torches if I'm gonna do this, but okay. I literally have no idea what I'm singing right now. <laughs> Oh god, have I even been up here? No. That is a nope. That is a nope if I've ever seen one. And so are you. Uh-uh. We ain't messing with that. Mm -mm. Oh god, okay. This way. Wait. Did I? Oh, I just- I'm an idiot. I just came from that way. This is just a dead end always? Ah, damn. Yep. Well, this was a waste of our time now, wasn't it? Oh, I hear blazes. But I don't like the fact that I can hear them. Oh! Yoy! Oh, go oh, no! Holy crap! Go, 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 go! Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus! please I am jumping as fast as I can jump holy crap holy crap holy mother god holy crap I do not appreciate that at all oh god where are you get over here you piece of shit oh, really God, that went right past my head. Holy! I don't know if they can even get me. Okay. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. I needed blaze, blaze rods. I didn't think I'd get that many. Holy shit. This might be a trick. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I'm not talking much, guys. This is very intense. No! Damn it. What happens if I just try to... Shut... I don't even think I'm hitting them. Yes, there's a hit. I heard it. an idea. Not probably the smartest idea. Oh damn, and there's even... Oh god, I really wish I probably would have brought some obsidian. I'm like leaning into my microphone and I didn't even realize. Whoa! Well, that was a little uneventful, now wasn't it? Honestly, it's probably smart if I put the fence back on that one. Put the fence on that one. Break you. Yeah, I have a little bit more vantage at this point. And plus I have a shield to block. Ah! Eat, 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 eat! See, now that one's too far, but it's got hella range on me. Maybe not. Let's block that off for the moment. I'm, I'm nervous. Okay, there's nothing here. Whoa, never mind! Damn it! Nope. What? Why? Thank you. Damn you, Wither Skeletons. I thought I heard one. I did not see it out of the corner of my eye. <gasps> Damn it. Well, I'm glad I farmed those carrots, because holy shit. Damn it, I'm not close enough. Block the spawner off just to be safe. And now 
done that before with a blaze. Holy crap. Well then. <sighs> I honestly deserve some XP for that, so let's farm some of this quartz. <laughs> get, get, get. Yes, and he dropped another blaze right. Hell yeah. Alright, that's enough excitement for one day. Let's get out of here. Alright, guys. Pretty successful, although that was very, very terrifying. Let us try to get back to my tunnel area. Oh god, I just remembered. I've got to get through all of this. Is everything gone? Oh god. There's, is that another spawner over there? Oh Jesus. Oh god. All my carrots. Okay, I've got tons of bread, but I've got one carrot left. Good thing I made that path earlier. Woo -wee. Okay, I think I need to go this way. Woo -wee. All right then, let's go down this way. I think I can remember where my area was. Okay. No, I went. Oh, I need to go this way. Down, 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 down. Go down, go down, go down. Yes, okay. I think. Yeah, okay. Whew, God. I was not expecting that much of an adventure for this. But hey, we got some blaze rods. Whoop! And no gas anywhere in sight, although they were definitely having a day with me. I'm back. Whew. Okay then. Good. Now, let's get back to my house. Home sweet home. terrifying okay so I want to convert some let's see let's go and just make all these blaze dust because I will need it later and put one in this and that way I can make some potions whenever need be and also I think I think I may have four ender pearls at this point Yeah, total four ender pearls and three blaze powder. So at some point I can make an eye of ender to hopefully find a stronghold and uh, be able to find a way to get to the end. I actually want to try to go to the end and beat the ender dragon in this game. I never got to it in my original survival series, but I think that's going to have to be for quite some time later. I don't feel any prepared for that sort of thing. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy adventure of an episode back to my survival Minecraft series. Again, sorry for the delay. Thank you guys so much for sticking by me. 
and I hope to be back with more Minecraft for you guys later. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Do you want to see me do anything in the, in the Minecraft world or any types of servers? Anything Minecraft related, let me know. I would love to read your comments. And if you want to see my future videos or videos I've already done, go ahead, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when my videos come out. That's all I have for you guys today, and until the next video, bye!